Okay guys, I'm in this dryer now. And my head is burning. Just the beginning of a long birthday weekend. Hanging out with the movies with my hubby. Tomorrow, dinner with a couple of friends. And Sunday, hanging out with the family. What a nice weekend. It's my birthday. Seafood. No, that's my hubby. But I do like fish. Okay. All right. So, oh, before I get started, let me show you a couple of gifts I got so far. This is uh, my girlfriend that I ate dinner last night. She's an Avon rep. So she gave me, she know, I like this uh, body lotion, Avon Senses. It smells real good, guys. Used to, I can't smell. Let me see if I can smell this. You know, I don't have a sense of smell and taste. But I did tell you guys, if I put something very close to my nostrils, I can smell a little bit like this. But I have to put it very close. Just can't smell it like this. And this smells great. So I got this from her last night and a nice card and dinner at one of my favorite restaurants called Jim and Nick's. And a nice card she gave me. She's a sweetheart. You've probably seen her in some of my videos that I made maybe last year. But let me get to my beautiful basket. Christina gave me for my birthday. They are awesome. A beautiful card from Christina and my son. I always leave him out from both of us, both of us, mom. So isn't that nice and lovely? They're always thinking of me. That's a card. And... If you all don't know me, but I'm a very frugal person. I'm not a stingy person, but I am a, a Taurus. And Taurus people like to have money and keep money. They're not happy if they don't have money. I think that's most people. But I like to budget. You can tell from my videos. I'm not uh, stingy, but I like to budget. Waste not, want not. So I do. I have gotten pedicures over the years and manicures, but I also enjoy doing my own toes. I really do. So Christina made this basket for me. Isn't it beautiful? She got some of these little, you see these, you put on your feet after you get your pedicure so you won't ruin your little toes. Now guys, you all have heard me talk about the stuff at the Dollar Tree. Uh, some of the stuff is just not worth it. I still go to Dollar Tree, don't get me wrong. But that Dollar Nail Polish Remover, have to use almost a half a ball to get the nail polish off. So she gave me this. And now with an emery board. Some tote. She gave me some nail dryer to dry my nails. My toe nails. A little pedicure set. Mini manicure set. Been using my hubby. Oh, we need this. This is a bye-bye rough feet. Know how to keep those feet nice and smooth because you know when you uh, get in bed and your feet are rough, your heels are rough, and you rub up against your husband, you're not going to be happy. So, you got to keep those heels nice and smooth. A great another emery board, not a cheap one, but this is something I wouldn't normally buy for myself. Christina knows that I won't spend the money on it. And what else she gave me here? She gave me all different flavors and kinds of nail polish. Some of them smell great. I think I have on this this shade right here. I think I do. Here's another shade. I'm going to put this on today when I go to the birthday dinner. And here's another one. I like this one also. I hadn't decided. It's going to be between these two and what I'm going to be wearing. So that's what Christina gave me. And Darius, and you all know how much I like money. So they always flourish me and pamper me with that. So that's a great thing. Okay, now let's go into this movie review. I want to see this movie called Everything, Everything. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't recognize any of the actors or actresses in this actresses in this movie. I did recognize the mother of the daughter, but she's not that famous to me. 
But anyway, the movie is a little tearjerker, but not really. I don't want to spoil it for you guys that's going to see the movie. But personally, for me, it was not worth the $7. And I guess she said she got some nerve complaining about $7. But I would caught the movie early. I did a matinee. It was not worth the $7 to me. It could have been a movie made for TV. It's a story about a young lady that has a disease. You'll see a compromise. Really a, not a good immune system. And she has to stay in the house all the time. And people come in and have to be fumigated, for lack of a better word, or sterilized. So I'm not going to tell all the movie in case you want to see it. But it puts you in the mind of that movie that came out, I think, in the 80s. Uh, with John Travolta, where he played the young man in the bubble. So it's something like that, but not really. There's a twist to it. It was an okay movie about young love and challenges and secrets and lies and videos, in a sense. But anyway, if you want to go see it, I don't recommend it unless you don't mind spending $7 for a movie that could be made for TV. That's just my opinion. It's okay, but we went to a early matinee, and I think it was about it was about ten people in the whole movie. We had the whole movie theater, um, and so I think about six or eight other people came in. It wasn't twelve people, but it was uh, just a few. Anyway, it's okay movie, but everything, everything, it's not everything and everything to me. It was okay, but anyway, I hope I didn't ruin it for you. But I just want to do this review. Take care, guys. And I got to get ready to go to my birthday dinner with my family. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.